Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tech Talk with Baba Femi. Today, we are going to be diving deep into merging branches and resolving merge conflicts in Azure repos. If I've ever worked in a team using GIF, you know that merging code is an essential part of development process. But sometimes things don't go as smoothly as expected. You end up with what we call the merge conflict. In this video, we'll cover the different type of merges in Azure repos and when to use them. We'll go ahead to look at merging branches in Azure repos using the UI. From there, we take a look at why merge conflict happens and how to prevent them. Then we'll have a demo on how to resolve these merge conflicts. Then we'll wrap it up with the best practices for managing merges and keeping your code base clean. If you are excited, hit the like button, subscribe, and let's get started. Now I'm currently logged onto my Azure DevOps environment. Before I go ahead to start talking about how to resolve this merge conflict, let me explain what merge conflict is or when does merge conflict happen? A merge conflict happens when Git cannot automatically merge changes because of several reasons. It might be because of the fact that the same file was modified in different branches. It can also be based on the fact that the same lines of code were changed in conflicting ways. We can also have a merge conflict if files that were deleted in one branch are being modified in another branch. Now that we know some of the reasons why we have merge conflict, let's take a look at the different merging strategies that we have in Azure. I'm going to be using my DevOps roadmap project. I'm going to go to the repos. Let me modify one of the files so that we can see these merging strategies while we try to create a pull request. So I'm going to go in here and edit this particular file. So this particular file, I've got nothing. Okay, so I'm just going to say this is an example. Oh, that spells right. Then commit my changes. This is something I would have done from my Visual Studio, but because this is just an example of, okay, so I've got like a uh, branch policy on that. So what I need to do is to change, let me create like it. Oh, okay, I've got a new file in there. Yes, I'm leaving these. Okay, so on this particular branch, I'm going to edit the same file. And have it as this is an example, example file. That, that's fine. I'm going to commit this to this particular branch. I'm going to create a pull request. But the main thing here is just to see what are some of the branching strategies that we have or the merging strategies that we have in Azure so that we can talk about it. So if I try to complete this particular pull request, we're going to see different merging type that we have in Azure. So let's start talking about these merging type. We can see the first one, which is the default one, is the merge no fast forward. This is the kind of merge that you leverage on if you want to preserve all your commits. When you use the merge no fast forward, there's a chance that the merge conflict can happen as against when you use the fast forward type, uh, merge type. Now let's go ahead to the next one, which is going to be the squash commit. When you look at the squash commit, from what you can see here, it's going to create like a linear history. But the way this works is on your topic branch, which is the feature branch or whatever name you want to call it that you've created, you know, is going to squash everything, is going to merge, is going to combine all your commits. So if you have like 15 commits, 
within that topic branch is going to merge everything into one before merging it into the main branch or the master branch or whatever you call your default branch. So, and what this does is going to create like a linear history, but this will be only with a single commit. The next one is the rebased and fast forward. For me, I would say it's a combination of your merge and squash. It's going to create a linear history. However, you are still going to be keeping every or preserving every commit from your topic branch. So you can see it's going to rebase all the source commit onto your target branch and fast forward it. So it's going to create like a linear history. However, it's going to prevent all the commit from your topic branch. The last one is the semi-linear merge. I would say is a combination of your merge, no fast forward, and rebase. So these are the merge types that we have in Azure. With that being said, let's go ahead to, to look at how to resolve conflict. So how do we even create a conflict? So we've actually explained, I've actually explained some of the scenarios you know, uh, that might happen for us to be able to create a conflict. So I think because I've got like a branch policy on this particular project, I would like to leverage on the other one. Um, let me just go back to here and click on the DevOps project. I'm so sure I do not have a branch policy on this one. So um, let's have it there. Yeah, okay, we can go back there and create like, we can still use the DevOps roadmap project. So what I'm going to do, so yeah, I'm just gonna create a, like a new branch. Yep. I'm gonna create like a new branch. Like I call it the dev branch. Out of the main. That's fine. Then out of this dev, I'm going to create like a new branch again because the main branch has got like um, branch policies and um, out of the main, and I will call these merge conflict. That's fine. Then I'm going to create another branch itself. So let me just create like a new branch within the feature folder. And I call these, I, still, I can still create this from the main, that's, that's fine. But I'm just going to call these auth merge. Yeah, that's fine. Now we've got two different branches that have the same number of files that are within the main and dev. But like I said, the target one is the, the dev branch now. So I'm just gonna make this the default branch now. So that when I wanna merge, I know the branch I'm merging to. So yeah, so let me go in there and edit a particular file, which is within the merge conflict branch. So let me edit the same test file. it and um, this will be match let's do it this way then I commit this particular branch which is fine so that will be like a suggestion to create a pull request because this particular file I've got like additional file that is not actually within the main so I'm going to create that and complete that now. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the squash. So when I decide not to delete, um, let me just complete this by, by leveraging on the squash. Commit, yeah, I'm not deleting that file. Now, 
I'm going to go back to the list of branches that we have within this particular project. And what you will see is the fact that we've got the merge conflict branch, which has an additional file. You know, you can see the main branch is behind now. However, the dev branch and you know the merge conflict file are actually on like the num same number of files. Now, this auth merge is now behind now. So I'm going to go in there and delete the test file. I'm going to go in here and delete the test file. You can decide to edit this, maybe the same line or edit this file, you know. So now you can see that I did not do any rebase for my Dell file. So I'm just going to delete this file and see, we'll see what's going to happen. So I'm going to be deleting this file from the other branch. Then I got a pull request. Same goes to the main. So you guys can actually see what has happened. There is a match conflict already. And this happened because in one particular branch, I've edited this test file. In another branch, I've deleted this test file. So here yeah, you can just see overview, files, updates, and commit. So there is no way to resolve the match conflict from here, but I want to be able to do it here. So what I need to do now is to install an extension. And once I install the extension, there will be another tab here where you can see the conflict. So I'll go back to my organization, then organization settings, then extensions. Then you need to go to browse marketplace. So I don't know the full name, but I'm just going to type in conflict. Yep, and this is it. The pull request match conflict. This is the extension. Just install the extension. So I get it free. Yep. At the same organization. So if you're actually leveraging on the Azure DevOps server, you need to download the extension. But since this is actually the cloud um, DevOps, so all I need to do is just to install the extension. I'm just going to go back to my organization and um, that extension should be there now. So I'll go back to the organization settings, extension, and once you install the extension, the extension should have start showing up here. So you can see the extension here. Now, I need to go back to my Azure DevOps project, which is the DevOps roadmap project. Then go back to the pull request I've created earlier. Now, so you can see I've got like deleted file. Now, the tab I talked about now exists. Conflict. This now shows conflict. So what this is going to do, there will be two different screen telling you which one do you want to retain or it's act, going to be asking you do you want to retain you know the first one the one on the right or you want to you want to keep the one on the left so this is a very good extension when you're working with conflict so on the left left hand side which is the latest merge that i've done or the latest pull request i've created is showing that if i go ahead with this this is going to delete this particular file but on the right hand side, this is it. So which one do you want to keep? So do you want to keep the one on the right or you want to delete or you want to keep the one on the left? So is that I go ahead to delete this file, which means I'm going with the last pull request created or I still want to keep that same file. 
all I need to do is just to keep the target right files. So if I've edited both, you know, uh, but differently, I'm going to have something like keep the one on the right and keep the one on the left. So yeah, I do not want to delete that particular file. I'm just going to keep the one on the right. So, yep. So it's going to say it's going to discard the change from the feature slash alt merge branch. Yes, I said go ahead and you know uh, keep that. Now you can see that particular conflict has been resolved. So if I go back to the overview now, you can see this has been resolved. Then I cannot complete my merge. So yep, scratch commit. Yes. So now that's how to resolve you know um the merge conflict so since we've been able to do that at least you can see how to resolve the merge conflict how do we not avoid merge conflict what are some of the best practices that we need to put out there to avoid merge conflict the first one is you know let's have pull request changes frequently we communicate with the theme uh, to avoid working on the same file simultaneously. You can also use rebasing wisely. All right, and that's it. Now you know how to merge branches and resolve conflict like a DevOps pro. If this video has helped you, hit the like button, subscribe and drop a comment below with any question. See you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.